going on everyone? My name is Zayden and this is Reap What You Sow Gardening. In this video, we're going to be harvesting a potato plant because I think it has spotted wilt disease, so we got to get it out quick before the disease spreads. So let's do this. So, let's go ahead and get out our shovel. So, what plant is it? Hmm. <laughs> I think it's this plant right here. Yeah, this plant. So let's go ahead and dig it up. No jump cut, so let's see. Oh, we oh, there's already a little potato. So I warned that you gotta dig like 200,000 feet out away from the plant because you don't want to hit a potato and then, or else you're gonna be crying all week. And you should have dug it correctly, but. This is the potatoes we planted with our old homemade tiller back in January, so, you know, it's almost June, so, oh, yes, let's see what happens if we did this, so some rope in there, so, let's sit the soil away from the potato and see if we can just dig some nice, healthy potatoes, dig some nice, healthy potatoes. Oh, here's one. Nice white potato. And let's go ahead and pull the plant up. So, what else do we get? We got a bunch of big worms. So, yeah, I think this wasn't even a good plant anyway. So, it came from the whole potato. And the potato, the whole seed potato that was on, started to rot. But, wait. No, there's, there's another potato. I think we're getting quite a good harvest here. Now this is not quick bait. I also found a penny. Eh. But we also got a red potato from another plant. Wow. We're getting quite a good harvest here. Look at the worms. We're getting quite a nice harvest of potatoes. I mean, what you, call, you can call a harvest, but when I'm also done digging a plant, I just like to go back in because you never know what will you know, be underneath the soil. But I think they did pretty good in our North Carolina soil. Sometimes we're growing in Idaho, Ohio, Florida, you know, all those other places, Australia. I think we're getting quite a nice little harvest of different potatoes. We've got three reds and two, three right and whites or yellows. Yeah, I think we're getting a nice harvest. And these baby ones, they can go back in the soil. That's what I want from Deep South Homestead. So, we're gonna dig this back in. My sweet potato harvest, the premiered video last year. That sucked. They, they turned out as worms, but I was still happy. I just didn't eat them. You know, even a worm would have been offend, offended. Let's see what this one has for us. But you don't know what's in store for you when you plant potatoes. What's gonna, you know? Oh, there's even more potatoes. See, when you dig, you always find these are russets. It doesn't matter how small they are, it just matters that how good they actually are. You know, you plant the potatoes that you like, the varieties you like. I believe I planted a blue potato, but I have no idea if that plant even came up. I think it came up, I don't know. But, you know, there's even another plant that's getting some wilt, which is over here. So it's a little bit sad to dig them up, but you can always plant them. <laughs> We'll probably plant more in August and all that stuff, so we'll have perpetual potatoes, so let's see what this one has in store. You see the leaves on it? This means the plant's not doing good. It's disease. So let's see if we can dig this up. And these could be russets, so I gotta be a little careful when I dig russets, because they can just spread Russets anywhere, so let's dig. Let's just pull them. There's one stalk, there's another stalk, and it's the rotting seed potato. Ugh, it's nasty. 
Maybe these were Idaho potatoes. I don't know. So let's just dig them up. Let's dig. Let's get this harvest. Oh, immediately there's a potato. Yeah. We're getting a pretty nice harvest of potatoes. Even though they're a little small, I, I really don't care. They can boil pretty good. They can nice be a nice little boil of potatoes. I mean, they may not be the nicest looking potatoes or the nicest size, but hey, I can't complain when it comes to this head harvest. God gives you what he gives you, okay? And you have to stick with what he gives you. You can't just say, oh, I'm not satisfied because he didn't get a nice harvest. I got a pretty decent harvest, but these big plants, they didn't produce anything. Well, oh no, I was wrong. There's potatoes even up here. They produce uphill. What the heck? You can see our NC soil. We got what they call sea seal. So there's another. Whoa! Look at the. Whoa! Guys! Look at this! There's Potato Cave! I'm, I am, I am stunned! This is not clickbait, okay? I don't make clickbait videos, okay? This ain't, this ain't no, this ain't, you know, Carter Sharer. I make actually decent videos, and look at the harvest we got. These things are huge! These are huge, but I am, wow! Let me see if there's any more. If this camera doesn't fall. <laughs> but let's see if there's even more. Because we got four potato plants. Or I don't know how many potato plants. But those potato plants had to go anyway. But these are really nice potatoes. Thank you, God. They're so nice. And there's even another red one here. This is our potato harvesting month. This is the month of potato harvest. Another red one. Okay? Another one. So this, this is what happens when you grow potatoes. They produce profusely. For some reason, there's a cable wire. I don't know why that's in there, but maybe I didn't scout the area good when I put the food plot in. But Oh wait, there looks like more potato roots over here. I don't know if there's any potatoes over here, but let's see. Uh oh. Pit of potato. Still going in the basket. We could eat it. Yeah, I could eat it, but see what you mean what I mean? Always make sure the area is good. So we got another one. We got M and M sized ones, but, but we we got a pretty good crop of potatoes. Man, those things were huge. Also, monsters. Let's dig some more. Now, if this was a live stream, um, I don't think people will comment, but and there's a couple little bugs like centipedes and stuff. Thank God a harvest an hour of the centipedes are going to have a nice big potato. And I can assure you these potatoes will taste good. And you can see when we harvest, we also till at the same time. And loosen the soil up. Just pop that soil. And there's a piece of glass. Cause, and find all this stuff because before we moved here, there was some... Horrible, horrible person that lived here. So he just trashed the place, but restored it in 2021. So there we go. And we want to make this all killed and chopped up soil. You can see pieces of biochar and nice stuff. What about these reds? I wonder if they're ready. These reds. Are you ready, reds? See, could be a couple of reds. I can do no, that's a that's a walnut. Yeah, there's a couple. I mean, look at the harvest we're getting right now. Look at the harvest we're getting. 
right now. If anyone says you can't grow potatoes in North Carolina soil, oh yes you can. This has no potting soil added to these potatoes ever. No extra fertilizers. I don't even use fertilizers on these things except for grass clippings and a little bit of leaf mold and compost. And this is what I get. I get a bumper crop harvest of potatoes, of nice little putties. Got big ones, you got small ones, got so many potatoes, man. Got hickory nuts that the squirrels are planting, and you know, a bunch of it's just a whole <laughs> look at that, that looks like a peanut. Wow, and there's so many, it's just so much fun digging your own potatoes that you grew yourself. And oh, I thought that seed potato was still good. <laughs> No, that, that would be rotten. Yeah, and if you're wondering where all this potato stuff is going, it, it cannot go in the compost because they have some disease. They're just going to be in the leach system that we have. But yeah, I am I am really stunned. All right, I am stunned of the harvest we've got so far. I am legitimately happy of the harvest we just got so I'm I'm stunned to death and this is so crazy how you can just grow your own potatoes at home and get a harvest look at look at this it's so beautiful look at the potatoes we've got in this basket it's amazing so as always I hope you enjoyed this potato video if you did give it a thumbs up share it around make sure you subscribe to reap what you saw gardening that helps me so much by just smashing that subscribe button in the face thanks for watching and keep on growing and don't be sad we'll plant more in august and july and all that stuff so we'll have perpetual potatoes i know that because i know a place that has a bunch of seed potatoes it's our person and grove